definition of data is changing across the world because almost every interaction we now have with each other and with our world takes place with a digital interface in between, a computer, a laptop, a cell phone, and all of that creates data, and all of that can be mined to help us make better decisions. We're no longer looking at data just about machine parts or airlines, we're looking at data about people. It's not just spreadsheets, it's not just a lifeless lump of numbers, it's our world, it's our communities, and it's us. I'm Jake Porway, I'm the Executive Director of Datakind, and our mission is to use data science in the service of humanity. People from the data science community are working on problems that may not necessarily be the most personally satisfying, right? Ad, ad targeting, um, search, uh, clustering of customer profiles, things that make money but don't necessarily make us really happy and engaged in our work. The entire origin story of Datakind is actually trying to answer that question. How do we get data scientists to work with the social sector? What I find most exciting about the potential and sort of the, the picture I have of what data, data kind will represent in the world is this integration of kick-ass data science uh, and a continual search for the frontier of how data can be put to use for humanity. For newcomers, it's, it's a great way to get experience for kind of veterans. It's a way to do good and leverage their professional skills for something that just will have an impact in an era that they don't normally think about. But I think what's really cool is beyond even that just sort of warm, fuzzy feeling, these guys really just want to work on tough problems. So a lot of people just are bored with their day jobs working on data science uh, tasks and have an opportunity now to use those same skills to work on a really cool problem like alleviating poverty using satellite imagery with the World Bank. So we started Datakind with just one little weekend event. We had no idea if anyone would show up, would want to do this. Uh, and we were amazed and thrilled to see that three great nonprofits showed up and about 50 to 60 data scientists in New York showed up. And from there, it's just been on sort of a, a rocket course uh, in terms of growing over this past year. But beyond that, we're actually seeing a movement. So there isn't a week that goes by that we don't get people writing from Bangalore or from Chicago saying, I'm going to start Datakind in my city. And that's really exciting to me because it means that this lives beyond just projects and actually becomes a mindset, something that the whole community around the world takes part in, in using data for the greater good. We are so excited to be doing this because we 